Okay, for our landscape, you can choose any place that you would like your landscape to be. Um, I'm going to do kind of a Midwest picture where I have my horizon line. No matter what, um, what landscape you're going to do, you're going to start out with your horizon line. And we have decided in our picture we need to have a reflection of some water. So right here, this is going to be my land. And then I'm going to put water down below. Now this is going to be a pond of some sort, so that I'm actually going to put some um, green foliage in the foreground here. And I'm going to think about way back here, there's like a little forest that you can't see real well. So this is going to be faded, and then right on the land back here, I'm going to go ahead and draw some trees. Now right now I'm just kind of indicating that I want a couple of trees, so I'm not, I'm just sketching this in. This is so, so light. Just kind of giving me an idea of what I'll be adding later on. Other things that you might consider is maybe a tropical scene. So here I have the horizon line, um, and this actually is going to separate the sky and the ground. But you could have a peninsula out here. I chose to put a little island where I'll, I'll put some trees and so forth, or some greenage on here. Maybe kind of just give an indication of that. I am going to put the sun setting in this one. And then in the foreground, I'm going to have a couple of palm trees. So in order to draw that, I just start with the, the trunk of the palm tree. And I'm just going to give a couple of indicators of the palms, leaves. So I'll do a couple of those, maybe a small one and a big one. And then... I'll show you later on how to make this look more like a palm tree when it comes to the painting. Right now I'm just kind of giving images or ideas of what I want my landscape to look like. Here's another one. I have my landscape. I'm going to make this a city scene. So you see I have some buildings that are going to be less detailed in the background. Some up close in the foreground. Um, I might even add a couple of things as I go to paint but I have my idea kind of drawn out. And then this one is kind of a North Shore picture. So I'm showing some stones or, or um, some cliff-like features here. And then up at the top, I'm giving an indication of some pine trees. Just drawing them and kind of just giving a line drawing. I don't want to go too much into this. I want to add that stuff mostly later on. Again, I have my horizon line where I'm separating the sky and what is going to be the water. For any of our landscapes, we're going to start out with a wet on wet method. So I'm getting my brush nice and soaking wet. And I want to think about the sky and the water um, having the same tones in it. So what I'm doing is adding my water within the whole sky. And you can choose, I, I think I'm going to go right over my trees too. I'll add my pigments on top of those trees later on with dry brush. But right now I'm using wet on wet. So I'm going in the whole sky. I'm also bringing some down into the water. And in this case I might even go, I kind of drew my uh, woods back here. But I want this to be wet as well. I'll put my, wet, my woods back in later on with a dry brush. All right, now you notice that it um, folds up right away, so a really good way to prevent that is when you're doing wet on wet, add water to the back of your image as well, and that'll help it lay a little bit flatter. So for this piece, I'm going to think about um, showing a kind of a pink sky, a warm colored sky, and what I'll do is bring some of my colors from my tray, and what I'm doing is activating it. Activating basically means that you get your water or your watercolors wet. So I might put a little bit of water in each of the colors or each of the pans that I think I'm going to use for this. I don't really know, so I might want to just put a little drip in each of them. And I have my tray sitting here beside me where I will be able to mix some of the colors that I want to use. So I'm mixing it over here. I'm putting it here first before I bring it over to my piece. Now during that time this has gotten a little bit dry so I'm going to go back over and just add some more water and then I'll get started with some 
of my watercolor. I'm going from the paint or from my mixing tray. Um, notice I'm not going straight from the pan. I'm going from the mixing tray. Now I added a little bit of this pink up here, and so I'm going to bring some right below it in the water. So anything you add up in the sky, you want to place again down in the water. Um, I want to darken this up, so I'm going to bring some red into it. Um, then we'll go into the sky with a little bit of yellows too. Now if you end up putting a color on that you don't really appreciate, just have a paper towel by you and you can dab that up. So if you're not liking what you're seeing, just take and pull it right up. It'll pull most of the color off. If it doesn't pull all of it off, um, it'll get it light enough where you can add the pigment that you were hoping for instead. Again, I need to make sure that I'm adding this down below. I'll do this to all my landscapes. This needs to fully dry. This wet on wet needs to fully dry before we can move on to anything else.